Aberdeen Football Club's plans for a new £50 million stadium and training complex will now not be decided until the new year. The club withdrew its application in October for further discussions with planners, but will now launch a second public consultation concluding in January. The project at Kingsford near West Hill has sparked debate across the city, as Ben Phillip reports. Aberdeen's plans for a new stadium and training complex in this group of fields near West Hill have been met with stiff opposition. A final decision was due in October, but the club unexpectedly withdrew its application. Today they announced they're resubmitting their plans for consideration in January. We've also given them information uh, that rules out completely the stadium being built at both Kings Links and Lawyerston. We've also given them some additional economic uh, information which they requested, which now shows the economic benefit of the new stadium. Don's manager Derek McInnes has described the decision as the most important in the club's history, warning they risk being left behind if the plans are rejected. But objectors argue the development will cause traffic and noise misery, saying the original plans were fundamentally flawed. We welcome the opportunity of a new predetermination hearing on the new information. It will be um, a good opportunity for everything to be reviewed with the latest information. Um, it just reinstate our facts from before that uh, wrong development, wrong location. I'm not altogether sure what can be changed by this new information. The club had hoped the new stadium would be operational in three years' time. But for that to happen, they may have to overcome a lengthy legal and planning battle. Ben Phillip, STV News, Aberdeen.